Okay, everyone, we're back to Silent Hunter 4. Um, so I've decided that we should change up the way I'm doing these videos. I think you guys have seen me dodge enough airplanes to last a lifetime. What the heck? Oh, okay. Um, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop the video. I don't even remember where we are, or what we're doing, uh, well I sort of remember, we're going to, uh, attack this base here, but I have decided after some deliberation that we are going to attack the port of Hiroshima at some point. Let's see how much fuel do I have? Yeah, we will continue with, uh... with our current mission. Which is to go here. And see if there's anything in this harbor worth thinking. Or actually... Yeah, nah, let's screw that. change my mind. I'm the captain here. I can change my mind whenever I want. So hopefully there's no plane up there. Let's see. That way. That way. There. I feel like it's the Bungo Straits. So we're changing our course based off my decision. Captain's discretion. Hope the airplane isn't still up there. So I'm going to stop the video here and then pick it up when I'm at Hiroshima. See you then. Okay, hello everyone. We're back. Uh, I was going to save my game. Mission. Um, and what our plan to do here is to sneak into Hiroshima. So let's start setting up how we're going to do this. This is going to be a lot different than the last time I did this, because the last time I did this, I had cloud cover, and it was easy, which is really why I want to do it again, because I don't remember. So it doesn't look like we're really going to be able to sneak in between them. bet this has a land. So we may just want to dive at that point. Let's see, so... What I do is I set any points, nearest point of land, I set up these little five nautical mile tick marks, or radius indicators. And these indicators are what I use to determine um, if I'm likely to get shot by artillery fire land-based anti-ship artillery weapons or not. And this allows me to pick the best route. So as we can see, we're clear all the way up to here. And then there's a lot of place to be clear. A nice place to recharge your batteries. Five mile T. 
tick marks. Speaking of Hiroshima, I don't know where any of these uh, land-based weapons are, so I'll just assume the worst. Five. And just every point of land, put a little five. And this, this, really, I'm using these indicators to tell me where I can surface safely. Or where, yeah, where I can recharge my batteries. Things of this nature. This guy isn't super relevant, but we're going to put him here anyways. And so we know that all of this area here is safe to surface in. Virtually all of this area. Excluding... That's way bigger than five nautical miles. I want the eraser tool. So five nautical miles. So this area is all safe to submerge in. Tick mark here. There's also this land point right here. So we can see that this area, uh, well, about that point. Okay, so now we have a clear indication of it's safe, safe, safe. So we're probably going to sneak in through here, I'd imagine. Well, draw a five mile, mile tick mark there. So this area right here is safe. And then all of this area is potentially... will kill you. Um, I think that's the way I went last time, so I just went up through there. Okay, let's see if we can find our spot inside. Not there. There's really not anywhere around here. Some place we can get to and recharge our batteries if we need to. Okay, this whole entire area is danger. Might be an area in here. And probably they don't have um, artillery everywhere. Yeah, I'm seeing a spot right there. In between all these circles that we can surface. Good thing we have a uh, GPS level precision for uh, World War II. <laughs> One inaccuracy of the simulator. Although I suppose you would have a crew. Um, we should just assume this is all dangerous. So right there is a safe spot. So we basically have to go from there to there to there. And then back. Because nowhere else is safe. Oh, is there a nice safe spot over here, though? Although, there actually might be more safe spots. I'm just sort of being very uh, cautious with these tick marks and where I'm placing them. Yeah, there's one right there. So this area, actually, to be very specific. Yeah, this area right here is safe. And then, assumably, this area. 
So there's this place to recharge, there's this spot to recharge. There, and there's all this. So basically we just want to get to here, dive, go through here, surface, continue on our journey, go here, I imagine go to this point, or do we want to take the deep, usually want to take the deepest water, so we go to this point. Go through here. It's going to be hard getting through here submerged. I imagine. Hopefully there's enough water there. But we really want to get to Hiroshima. If we go that way. Let's see if we can get some distances. Well, let's just try. Let me see. I can go 100 nautical miles submerged about at standard speed. Or, sorry, two thirds. So we're going to go straight down the middle of the channel. Go here, cross here, surface there, come over here, go here, then what do we do? Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. You need to go up straight to that point, submerge, go through here, and then to that point. Let's see how far this point is to this point. It's 33. But it's not quite direct. So, 33. That's probably We probably theoretically could submerge here, sneak all the way to Hiroshima and back, but we would be completely out of battery power by the time we got back here. Which is why this point is so important because we can go half the way, only burn half our battery power, recharge. Assuming there's no escorts in this area. And there's no way we can recharge up here, I don't think. I mean, there's no spot to do it. Yeah, this reaches the other side before, so this whole area is probably ensuing death. So the only places to recharge are here. Let's see. Okay. Well, I'll just leave that. So here or here are the only two recharge points that are safe to surface, hang out over and under or at night, recharge the batteries, submerge, continue on. So this is a uh, pretty difficult challenge. Um, well, I want to get to Hiroshima, so let's go straight up and that point through here. We'll see if we can make it through there submerged. I don't know. Um, go up that way. And then we'll surface. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Let's see if we can make it through there. Okay, so let's speed up time. Oh, 
they're seeing something I'm not seeing. So I'm going exceptionally slow here because I just got, or you might, yeah, I don't think you guys saw this. I got the confirmation, or orders that the uh, Malaya is under constant bar, air embar uh, embardment, uh, or bombardment, sorry, embardment. Um, Manila is under constant. So uh, we're going to lose the Manila base soon, and then we're only going to have this base and per or well midway I guess as uh, refueling points so I want to have enough fuel to be able to get all the way to midway if I need to okay continuing on single contact bearing one two six. Oh, whoops, I forgot about that long wait supposed to do something about this three three four Uh, there he is. Oh, I see what they are. Okay. Uh, so since we have a radar contact, we'll just continue with this. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, crew on here. Because we're going to go ahead and sink these uh, ships. You know, in real life, I probably wouldn't man the gun at this point. And not because I shouldn't keep manning the gun in the game, but because the weather is so rough that a crew member could easily fall overboard, especially when we're going so fast. So I probably want to stay off the gun until we got close to firing range. Really, I'm just going to fire my own shots at these guys anyways. Uh, let's kick it up to flank. Yes, sir. Ahead flank. New tactic is to shoot these guys once and then ram them. I have to save ammo. Because just like in War Thunder, you get one hit and he dies, you get the kill, but if he just dies, 
even if you ran me out. weather. Same tech. It's where I can save ammunition. Once. Hey, this kind of butt's kind of big. I'm gonna actually take some damage from this guy. Nope. Oh, look there. I took damage. Oh boy. injured and I took 1% damage. Okay, well, let's continue on. For our original mission. Or 
ready. Save my game here. Since we passed that line, periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Nobody around on hiding right? Yeah, no one, so oh, because of that. Four hundred and seventy three feet. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Just making sure the sound's in here. Wait, was that correct? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Paranoia. So I don't see any coastal defenses, but that doesn't mean they're not there. Rum, rum, rum. <gasps> So we can just continue at four knots. And I'm fine with the periscope being up during this time. We can even put up the radar antenna. So at this speed, we'll get there in two hours. Four nautical miles, or nine. But we'll surface at this point. Or no way. That's not the correct point to surface at. That is. Okay. Um, so let's just... Speed up time. So how much battery power do we have? How much are we burning? Back to ship spotted. Yes, sir. Just lower that antenna because we don't want to be seen. this target. It's probably an escort, I imagine. Zero five eight. Looks like a sailboat. Yep, it's a sailboat. We would hear an escort before we saw it. There, I'll just drop that for now. Continue on. I'm not going to try and sink that here. Obviously, I'd get torn apart by coastal batteries, probably. And that consumed 12% surface. Fortunately, that part doesn't even matter. Because we have all this area right here. 
Maybe I will be here for part of the uh, surfacing prop. So we have two advantages going for us. We're nowhere near land. And... We are, uh... It's nighttime, so it's hard to spot us. So I'm just gonna continue on. Battery recharge. certainly don't hear what he's hearing. No, I'm not hearing nothing. Okay, let's just continue on. Unless we, if we see him. Thank you. There's no point to continue with this waypoint. Okay, so we're here. It is night, however. So theoretically, we should just uh, continue on the surface. Definitely close enough to land to submerge, but since it's night, I'm gonna risk it. It's a do spot a land unit though, I'm gonna submerge. That's a problem right there. Didn't have full crew for the deck watch. For right now. Oh. This guy should go here. Give me a little boost. Continuing on. So if I start seeing splashes, I'm going to dive. I'll actually probably crash dive, and then I'll, at 40 feet, hit periscope depth. And it should even out. I shouldn't hit the bottom. But it is nighttime, and we are sneaking in here. I'm surprised that no one has spotted me. See anything. I'm kind of confused whether I should uh, speed up or not. We're in the danger zone. Should probably speed up. I mean, at this speed. So we'll go full. 
Hopefully that won't give away our position. Well, that's standard. So we're getting some strange bugs at this point. I finally added a terabyte hard drive to my, uh, I got brand new, or well not brand new, a used one terabyte hard drive to record video with, so I can theoretically record this video forever. I think there's some people waiting on me. I have to do some stuff though, so as soon as we get to this point, I'm gonna probably end the video. It's hard to see with this weather. No visual contact. This is surprising. So what's the uh, depth under keel? 45 feet, man. Plus 18. Barely enough to sit emerging. Of course, generally I've found, in, at least in this game, there's almost always enough room to sit emerging. I think I only need like 50 feet, although in this weather I need at least 55 feet to stay submerged. 53 maybe. But at some points in this game, you will be uh, skimming. So I don't know if you're noticing these little uh, hiccups here with the uh, graphics engine. But this is generally what happens when I try and invade ports. Um, the computer starts to get wacky. I think it's a bug in the game. I'm not 100% sure. So the reason why I'm not looking at my map and I'm looking here is because I want to see if I can... Your crew, very unfortunately, will not tell you if you're being fired upon, which it should. That would be wonderful if your crew stopped time compression and said, we're under fire when they start seeing splashes, but they don't. So you have to spot the splashes yourself, which is why I'm up here using my we're using small amounts of time compression to get through here. Oh boy. Shouldn't we be turning your amount now? And the wonderful thing about this is that a uh, land unit could uh, pop out of nowhere just because we turned a corner and it was precariously placed. Remember, the cardinal rule is always go straight down the channel. Although in this case, we have pretty much very little concern of uh, very little concern for mi or no concern for mines because uh, we're not deep enough to get into submarine mines. Those are always just deeper than surface ships would uh, be. Yeah, they're like at 40 feet or something and we're only at 20. But uh, submarine nets could theoretically mess us up. And that's why we go straight down the channel because they put submarine nets at the side because they assume you're going to sneak in from the sides. When, as it actually turns out, sneaking in is best to be done. 
Um, like duct tape? Is it there? Don't you have that like roll of duct tape? I guess. markers are not placed necessarily best. I think that's it looks like it might be a coastal defense turret right there. I can't really tell though. Seriously. Probably a coastal defense. It might be a tree too, or just a random building. Okay, let's continue on here. Let's go ahead. Nah, standard speed's fine. Definitely in their firing range. It's just a question if they can spot me or not. Or if there's even coastal defenses here. I don't know. Crew still doesn't see anything. Okay, I kind of feel like we're safe. There might be something around this corner, I suppose. I'm not sure if this rough weather is helping me or hindering me. I think it's hindering me. Although I suppose in real life it would be harder to spot a submarine in this weather. There would be so many white caps, it would be hard to distinguish the wake from the white caps. Especially at night.
So I'm not sure if this weather is helping me or not. Maintain my stealth profile. Um, okay, well, I'm pretty sure that part's... I'm pretty sure we're clear here, so I'm just gonna speed up. Hope we don't get shot. Okay, so we have a warship. Contact! Warship! Closing! Barry! Two! Nine! Zero! Long range! Pretty sure we can just continue on. As far as I'm aware. Unless TMO has changed it. Okay, we are now in the safe zone. So, um, this is where I'm going to end this particular video. Save for YouTube 3. And uh, in the next video, we're going to pick this uh, video up, and we're going to continue on to Hiroshima, and we're going to blow them up. Okay, this has been Johnny Thunder. See you later.